Right, welcome along Radio Freaks. Um, sorry it's been a long time. Um, what with um, work kicking back in uh, and having a, a little bit of an illness uh, a couple of weeks ago. Nothing to do with COVID, I may add. Um, but we're back, I found some spare time. I did promise uh, to get this video done of us um, measuring the actual output of the CRT uh, 33 7 900 uh, rig that we've been looking at and here we go now so the equipment that we're using here to do this as you can see we got our uh, 100 watt dummy load connected to a uh, directional coupler and um, we can check both reverse and um, forward powers with that as well and i've got a roden swartz um, power sensor uh, nrp 8s um, which is pretty damn accurate uh, as long as you've got your coupling factors um, measured and sorted out on the coupler now on this particular coupler i have measured at 27.555 megahertz which we're going to be conducting this um, test on but the coupling factor is 53.6 6 db down so whatever this rig is putting out um obviously because it's a very sensitive bit of measurement kit i'm using i don't want to be putting 30 to 50 watts in <laughs> into the uh, test equipment into the power sensor so we have to uh, attenuate it and i've worked out at uh, 27.555 the um, coupling factor of our directional coupler is uh, 53.6 um, I've done a sweep from 30 to 26 megahertz but at 27555 53.6 is our coupling factor which we've used and uh, if we check the Roden Swartz Power Viewer software um, which I'm just about to put on the screen now you can see at the bottom right hand uh, side of the screen it's I've put the coupling factor in which is 53.6 dB uh, and our center frequency that we're going to be using now because this is a multi-mold rig as it was it's uh, FMAM and uh, the sidebands as well the FM and AM measurements be no problem doing this on the continuous reading um, but what we will be doing um, if I get us on the right screen here is when we're doing sideband um, for us to actually see the peaks um, we'll be using the statistics uh, screen here and all will make sense um, uh, sorry, we won't be using this. We'll be using the trace um, screen here. So I put us on the wrong screen. It's the trace screen. So this allows us to see, as you look at the scale here, 0 watts to 50 watts. So I've um, set this up for on a 5 scale um, dB. We should be able to see carrier power and then where it's peaking to. Um, so that's what we'll be using there. But to start off with, um, we're going to be going to uh, the continuous running uh, sweeps on this i'm going to split between the camera looking at the rig um let's let's just try and get rid of any reflections there as much as i can right so there's the rig um sorry about that there's a bit of light coming through but uh, not much i can do about that at the moment because we do need a little bit of lighting in here um so if you see me key up you can see uh we're on the fm mode there and currently we're about 30 watts um according to the screen on the rig itself now if we look at the continuous running screen on the Roden Swartz power viewer we can see there that it's running at 29.3 watts so you know yes it's pretty accurate on the front meter in to what we're actually seeing out um, it is um, rated at 30 watts on FM mode um, you know half a db or whatever um i'm not going to fight about that because we're going from out the rig into a coupler into a test load so we've got to allow um 0.5 to 1 percent um error there but i'm happy with that it's within a db uh oh, sorry it's within uh one watt and um that that's that's accurate enough for me i'm not, I'm not going to argue with that so there we go so back to the rig i'm going to put us into um am mode now, AM mode, the carrier power is rated at 12 watts. So when I say carrier power, because there's a difference between frequency modulation and amplitude modulation, frequency modulation, no matter how much I speak into the mic, it will stay at whatever it is, in this case, 30 watts. Now, on AM, it's 12 watts carrier. Now, if you are 100% modulating, basically, when you talk into it, you're going to be peaking up to four times the carrier power. So, you know, 12 watts, we're going to be peaking 48 watts 50 watts roughly um 
uh, yeah, on, on full power as it is. So AM, let's have a look what we've got on the rig when I key up. So it's, it, you know, with my voice, you can see it peaking there. I'm, I'm gonna say nothing. Let's see what we're getting. So we are getting around about 10, 11 watts uh, showing on the meter. It, it's just below actually it's 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 showing about nine watts on the meter on the power viewer software we can see that we are 11 point if i stay quiet 11.58 watts i'm not going to argue with that now when i start speaking into it um if we look on the rig you can see that it's peaking there around about 30 watts again 30 to 40 watts that's because i've not got a hundred percent modulation um you know I don't think you can quite do that on these rigs without sounding distorted so um, if we look now we're going to have to go um, to another measurement to actually see those peaks in action so bear with me I'm going to key off uh, and then we're going to stop the measurement on there I'm going to go to uh, our trace measurement here so what we're looking at here on the left hand scale we can see the power from 0 to 50 watts um, and here we go so i've keyed up now um let's have a look it's not showing on there have i done some ah i know what i haven't done i haven't started the measurement so the little green arrow up here let's get it going always forget that okay so if i key up and say nothing you can see our green line there is roughly 12 watts and i'm holding the microphone away from me it's just about picking my voice up but if i start speaking into it let's watch for what it peaks one two one two audio test audio test we can see it peaking at the 50 watt line at the top there that's our maximum peaks here 50 watts um on the uh well we can see on the front screen as well i'd, I'd say that's averaging 40 watts the top peaks this is too sensitive to measure so i'd say uh, around about 45 watts as you can see there we're peaking around about 45 watts which is correct so that's am um let's have a look we're going to have to keep it on that screen we're going to keep it on um upper sideband now the difference with this if i key them i can say nothing you can see there's no carrier power until I start speaking into the microphone. This is no carrier at all until it detects audio. And we can see here, we're just peaking around about 45 to 50 watts in SSB mode, single sideband. So if I look on the panel on the front of the rig, it's saying I'm doing 40 watts. So that's 40 watts. Now I'm gonna keep this keyed up because um, I'm gonna do a temperature check of this rig which is what i've uh, got this uh, meter here um the ambient temperature of this desk is 23 degrees i'm going to go to the uh, heat sink on the back keep that on there now i've been keyed up for about a minute i reckon plus all the other keying up bits and bobs as well we're going to see how hot the um heat sink gets on the back whilst i'm keyed up this has got a two minute timeout on it i'm not going to run it that that long but we'll get an idea of the sort of temperatures we get from the heat sink on the back of this rig to give you an idea that you know once you're in am fm mode and it really starts to work on the modulation the temperatures will go up uh, okay dk now let's see what we peaked at there we peaked uh 42.4 degrees on the um on the meter here let's see if i can get that uh it's not gonna is it is it gonna save the last right okay i don't think we can i think we would have to bring that up a bit and focus excuse me i'm doing this all sort of uh on the fly as it were on well, the uh thing has gone out now let's do that again could it be my battery oh no i've pressed the wrong button there you go right so okay i don't know if you can make that out there the maximum it was peaking is 42 degrees um you know average of 33 degrees on there but the maximum peak that we got off there was 42 degrees centigrade so bear that in mind when you're placing this rig in the car uh try to keep it away from enclosed areas top of the dash probably good where it's got a good air circulation around it so obviously don't put the uh, thing right next to a heater or a heater outlet in your car because that's just gonna um you know <laughs> make the problem worse um yeah so you've got to think about ventilation you may want to put a fan on it i'm I, I don't think i need a fan because i don't tend to waffle on too much on the radio certainly not more than a minute or two um uh i think you know other than that it's, you, you, you're going to be fine with the heat sink it's it's it, 
it's fine. Um, Okay, well, that's the power measurements we've done there. Hopefully, that's um, just proved to you that um, CRT are not lying about the power output out of this rig. Um, once again, if you want to do this test, you do need a directional coupler with um, plenty of attenuation on the outputs um, if you're using a power sensor. That's how we've done it there. It's a short video. Um, I've got some more videos coming on their way. I'm going to be doing the car installation one because I've got a new truck now. So I've got to install this again, and I'm going to show you how we do that in the next video and hopefully that'll be out the weekend take care and uh, yeah behave radio freaks catch you on the next one thanks very much